I feel the feet, so let's get into this tea. I got my honey shots with me. So we about to get into Blueface, Big Brother Andre exposes mother Carlos on IG Live, child. Let's get it. You for free. That's how. That's how. That's how your logic works as a mother. You want us to be out here? Tell her go live. Tell her go live with me. Tag her and tell her to go live, and you could you could you could read body language. You can see who telling the truth or not, bro. You can see who bullshitting and who's a, a partial tongue and lying out the mouth, and who been lying out the mouth this whole time about every single instance that ever happened. Up, up, friend. Up, bro. Where? Oh, you know, like not even on no other shit, but just out of a hurt place. Like my feelings is hurt. Like how the fuck you going, nigga? What? I'm your child. Like it's not even about the principal. Up, uh, uh, what's going on, gang? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm really not uh... <clears throat> Tell her, add me to the live. What's up? Add you him know? to the live. Let's talk about it. If y'all, uh, I don't know, man. It just be a cold world when, when your mom, your own people, you know? Like that, that, like, I be wondering, like, where you... This might have been promo for the show. I was thinking that, too, but... Mm -hmm. You be at with it. Why do you do the shit that you do? Like, you don't love your kids? Like, it's not a natural instinct to love a motherfucker who lived in your stomach? Like, how... I, I just can't comprehend it. For some women, it's not. You'd be surprised. Real shit. Sure. Like, a motherfucker who literally lived in your stomach. Literally. Like, my dad, maybe. I wasn't connected to him. But, nigga, you felt my heart beating in your stomach, bro. For you to just take it out and eat it for clout and for, 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 for the bag? Come on, bro. All three of your kids been through hella shit. We all done been through our own little story, bro. Some mega, mega shit. And you just know where to fucking be found. You just happy as a bitch. They care. They dads didn't need. They want them. Come on, bro. Stop it. He might not have wanted Joe crazy ass, but come on. Damn. Bro. Nigga, who the fuck lose a custody battle? What woman you know lose a custody battle to the nigga? Ah, uh, so come on, man. It's so yeah, make sure y'all. If she start talking that shit again, tell her to tell the truth. That's it. Just tell her to tell the truth. That's it. You know, tell her Andre made the whole show, gave you all your dreams. You talking about Netflix gonna call you one day? You going on live talking about Krishan? Like you just going in your live yelling at your phone all damn day? You not even talking about shit? You ain't talking about no talent? You not producing nothing? You just on your phone? Tell her if she never talk about Krishan again, y'all wouldn't tune in. If she couldn't say Krishan or Blueface, y'all wouldn't tune in, bro. And that's it. There's that's no fact. talent, there's no orchestration, there's Bull no leadership, fact. there's no nothing. It's just, I got beat up and I'm mad. Man, fuck all that, bro. So, yeah, I don't know, man. You ain't mad as hell. I'm gonna do me, I'm gonna figure it out. You know, I ain't really tripping. Nigga don't, you know? It is what it is, bro. She still ain't hit me to join a live. She ain't even in here. So, what's up? She not gonna try to get on? You don't wanna cash it out? What if I go take a lie detector test? Would that be cool? Like y'all, like since I'm lying, if I'm taking a lie detector test, the lie detector will say if I'm lying, right? If I really made the show, if you're really an evil person, if all the things I said about you are really true. He gotta be able to afford the damn lie detector test, y'all. Got five hundred and eighty-three K in there. Ah. <laughs> uh <laughs> Yo, everybody can't see the other Z, you know, the, the Z. The K, they can't only she can see the, the zeros K. And the K that what she said. That's exactly <laughs> what she said, child. Maybe somebody will want to help. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ran away, tried to leave a nigga. I remember I was at a... At a, 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 a she took me to a, a graduation party, bro. <coughs> and, like, towards the end, you know, kids start leaving. It's, it's, you know, I'm the last kid left. I look up. Man, this bitch done left me. Ooh. I didn't see this bitch again for, like, four months. Left. This is a stranger. Look, wrong. This is a, fr a friend of the family, but this is still somebody I'm not related to, bro. And she tried to deny this shit, but you can ask all my aunties, bro, just left me there. I was in the room with this nigga, whoever the fuck they was, this parent. He's trying to call everybody they know, trying to find somebody who I'm related to to come get me, bro. Right. And she just... Cuz wanted to go get a veggie sandwich. That way he said. Yeah. Yeah. Took off and left. I didn't see her again for months. They took my They finally got a hold of my uncle, and I lived with my uncle for a minute, bro. And she just left. Was gone. This type of mother that you are, you're a fucking banshee. I tried to love you still because I'm a real nigga. Because I wanted to love my mother. Even though she ain't never loved me, bro. You don't have two different husbands put their hands on me, bro. For some shit that you did because you want to keep fucking with your side, nigga. But keep blaming everything on everybody else, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You don't have me tripped out trying to protect you from all these niggas and turn myself into a whole crazy person. Wait, what you say? Goddamn, what you say? Nah, fuck that. 
fucking with a side nigga but blaming your child. That's what he said. That's what he said. That's exactly what he said. Uh, <laughs> Do it again. Huh? Try. Try. <laughs> Crackheads and shit for you because you want to fucking do all the bullshit that you doing. For what? That's probably what well, that got know, on his nerves. She always going live talking about somebody's parents and child. And she okay. over there with the trash parents and going trash. on. Trash. I mean, garbage juice. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Not right. Nah. I started arguing with a nigga and then running, running they son room. I'm 15. Hmm. And Charlie's like, yeah, you won't come in here, though. I'm 15. This a grown ass bodybuilder, bro. Why are you keep having me try to squabble this nigga? Damn. I don't know. If y'all can't, if y'all can't see from her character, what type of person, fuck what she say. Cause she going to lie her ass off. She going to lie like a dog in heat, bro. She a lie about what dead is. I swear Not to you. Look like you dead dog. in your face. That was a terrible you, analogy, right? wasn't it? If you can't tell that she lying or who telling the truth, bro, then you, you know what I'm saying? Well, you gotta use your really. intuition. Because, wow, but what, what would you get out of lying in, like a dog in heat, though? What? what well, uh, at least bleeding like a like, dog in heat. Yeah, because bitches always lying about they on a cycle. <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding. I can't have <laughs> I'm a, oh, it's the time of the month. Wait a minute. I'm spying. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So yeah. that's what he's talking about. I'm spot. <laughs> you know, you got to wait a couple of days. <laughs> she no. greatly, like, she's a very bad person, bro. She because they laid up trying to fuck. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Uh. Very, 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 very horrible person, bro. Both her sons is gang members. And her and daughter's dating one. Come on, man. Look at your track record. And then she had called one of my aunties like, I was a good mother, huh? Meanwhile, her Child. son is you. <laughs> right as we speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, miss me with that bullshit, bro. She's a whole, throw the whole batch of it, you know? Dang. So, Dang. if we can, bro, we can get the truth out. We can really talk about the truth because cause that's what we need. You need to stop. You need a real man in your life that's going to stand over you and hold you accountable for the shit that you... Mm-hmm. She's trying to she was a shit. But to do whatever the fuck you want to do, do, and there's no accountability. You treat your kids like shit. You treat your daddy <laughs> like shit. You treat your mom. See, you lie like a rug. That makes sense. That's why she lie like a dog in heat, y'all. I'm like, what? Oh, you lie like a rug, honey. <laughs> but we do. What? What do a rug do? It lie, lie there. <laughs> mama like shit You jumped your own fucking mama Who jumped they mama Cause they lit a cigarette in the car Who jumped they mama and lied about the shit bro My grandma had to tell you what all the hurt in the world in her eyes That her daughter and her granddaughter jumped her <laughs> Come on man Niggas be trying to cap with that bullshit Then you try to play Christian You're not a Christian You don't even go to church Ooh. I go to church more than you I go to Christian. church more than you bro Miss She ain't a Christian bitch. I don't feel like none of them heathens. I'm gonna talk about it today because my feelings is like extra uber hurt. Did my own mother like try to steal my clothing brand? I've been working on this clothing brand since I was in yeah. prison, trying to figure out how to way how to provide for myself since prison, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take your thing and I'm gonna do this. She got sketches made. She's showing me the sketches, talking. I'm like, you just been working on my shit for real. After you been, I told her I ain't want nothing for the show. You can have the show because I know you're not gonna pay me anyway. So I'm not gonna argue with it. I'm gonna use the show to build my own little cloud up, spread my brand, get my shit out there. Cool. Then she stole my shit. Like that's how much of a vulture this nigga is. You're you not cool now? with just taking all the Patreon money, which is almost at ten thousand dollars a fucking month. Oh, period. Ten thousand a month ain't a lot in L. A. Bro. But she could have gave you something. That's for damn sure. Yeah. yeah, she could have gave him something. You almost making ten thousand dollars a fucking month, bro. You ain't paid me or your daughter or your stepdaughter. And the whole show is us. Oh no, nah, they man. deserve something. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna never talk about this shit again. How much y'all would have gave y'all kids if, if you made ten k off the show, or well, for the month or whatever? Let me see. I would have gave London sixty-one dollars. No, I'm playing. Hey, you? Uh, <laughs> oh God, get your stick on. Take this twenty-five and get on. <laughs> what do you pay grown-ass people? Ten <laughs> k. I mean, it ain't, a, it ain't a lot. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Now, when it comes to paying a whole bunch of other folks, now to pay some bills and some other shit now, but you know. To pay a, a staff, y'all let me know what y'all do. Yeah, today, but my heart is broken today on everything I love. Like I lost my mom today, you know. Damn. Cause I I can't never come back from this. Cause did. 
Damn. I'm stop, bro. That's deep. I'm stop. I should have been done wondering when she threatened my daughter. Oh, what type shit. of motherfucker you know threaten their own granddaughter? Me and her arguing, having a whole different conversation. They got nothing to do with no babies. Mm -hmm. My daughter is not even there. Mm -hmm. I'm telling her about the damn dog. And she trying to say, you're just angry in the morning. I know I'm angry because you're coming down here yelling at me about these damn dogs. You yell at everybody. You beat up all your friends. She said, yeah. And it could be your daughter, too. Oh, oh. shit. Not your grandchild. Your, not your I would have had to put some This ball. is the band she did. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. That I was raised by. This is what I had mm -hmm. to deal with. This is what mm -hmm. I had to overcome. Mm -hmm. This is the person I had to still find a way to be a cool, decent person in spite of. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I might have low key choked her that day. I like, like for real. Like I, I just, my brain couldn't really fully process what uh -huh. the fuck was going on. She saw uh -huh. it build it in me. And she took off running and ran upstairs. But I just sat Not there for a minute. Like, this afraid. bitch really just threatened my fucking daughter. Right. Her granddaughter. Her granddaughter. And it could be your daughter too. How would you take that? If we argue, and I say you get into it, everybody and say, yeah, it could be your daughter too. Nah, I would have mm. choked her. Nah, it could be you actually. Yeah. I mean, you closer than my, my daughter. daughter. As I'm getting up like this. Cause what the fuck? <laughs> my child, your grandchild. Ooh, I mean, what kind of shit is that? I don't know. Oh nah, <laughs> hell nah. Actually, how would you like what, bitch? I, what? I, 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 I don't know what I was gonna do that day, bro. But I lost my shit that day, and I, I chased her upstairs, and her husband dope fiend me, bro. And then like, she jumped on my back, and then tried to lie and tell the story a whole fiend. different way. I don't know what dope fiend to me. What dope fiend me? No, no idea, y'all. What that mean? He, he I don't said know, he man. Dope fiend. Now what is that? I really think she do need Jesus. She make me not want to believe in God, cause I'm like, as much as you quote the Bible, there is no good in your heart at all. That little shit that happened them years ago with my brother that ruined his career, that ruined mm -hmm. everything that he built, that was her. That mm -hmm. was her selfish pride because she couldn't be the star, bro. Mm -hmm. It didn't have nothing to do with my sister. It had nothing to do with shit, bro. Mm -hmm. She told me I had to put him in his place. My brother lost millions of dollars because you had an attitude. Mm -hmm. Changed his whole life. He worked hard to build everything that he built by himself. My mom didn't touch none of that shit. My mom gave up on him before he even started rapping. As soon as my brother left school and went back to California, my mom was done with him. And then show back up again when she seen him on BET trying to ask for something. And then when he gave, he was giving her little bits, giving her ten bands here, five bands there. She like, no, I need a car, I need a whole fucking house, I need this and that and some more shit. Yeah, nigga, you left me in a car. My brother almost died sleeping in the car, nigga. And this motherfucker was sleep, fucking in a house, a big ass house. Still got a big ass house, bro. Mm. But then want to show up and ask for something. Mm. Miss me, bro. You know, I pray for it. Yeah. I really do. Girl, he spilled everything on her. He is spilling this tea. Do you hear me? He is not serving this cold at all. No. This is piping hot, honey. Okay? Because what he is saying right here is his mama ain't shit. Ain't <laughs> never going to be shit. And ain't even going to amount to shit. Shit. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Not amount to shit is nah. crazy, but damn. Like, that was just. Yes. <laughs> he done knocked over the kettle, baby. <laughs> Man, good grief. <laughs> real shit, because that was crazy. For real. But yeah, make sure y'all go try to check my book out, because the nigga is out here back thugging, you know? Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to try to drop that and just. I want to make it help people, but yeah, I don't know, man. It's just. I don't know, man. If y'all got any quotes to help me get through it, because I really lost my mom today, bro. Like I did, because I can't come back from that. I try, I forgave her after threatening my daughter, which I didn't want to. Ooh. I would never leave her around my daughter by herself like that because I didn't yeah. trust her. Like, imagine you can't trust your mama with your... I can't, friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be able to I'm do like, I don't know what you own. What you going to do, you know? Like, would uh -huh, you get mad and, like, her, be friend. mean to her, be rough with her when I'm not there? Mm -hmm. Like, why would you say some shit like that? Like, oh, it could be your daughter, too. Like, man, I should have choked her. I, I mean, that's my mom. And the only reason I didn't is that's my mom. But it would be anybody you else. Did, I would have choked, choked her. Bro. That's what you're right. Like, what the fuck? Mentally, you choked out. You so choked it's all right. Daughter, too. Yeah, I don't know, man. I ain't got no quote for it. Y'all, y'all, yeah, since man. she cares so much about. Y'all think y'all go tell her, too. Oh. I do got a quote. You what you're doing is wrong. You really need a fucking epiphany. And you need to grow the fuck up. Because you're fucking 51 years old and you're still doing the same old bullshit, bro. Her and her husband over there, she bossing him the fuck around, nigga. We if, can she was my, if that was my girl, I would have been choked. Like, I would have been like, get your ass over here for sure. You tripping.
Like, not even a little shit like that, but she do some mamie, cockamamie shit, like threatening your child. Like, the what, what? Bitch? <laughs> Mamie, cockamamie, and cocker spaniel. Cocker doodle doo. Because, <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause>, what? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Damn, dude, you got cuz Wi Fi. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't. You wrong, friend. That ain't even my Wi Fi. That's it. That's his shit. <laughs> or whoever uh, screen recorded, but the fact that you thought it was my Wi Fi, I feel That's disrespected. Uh uh-uh, Attacked. We, we oh. Do that over here. That's fucked up. <laughs> so you on Cub Wi uh, Cub Wi Fi? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Get yeah. It is what it is at this point, bro. Uh-huh. You know, pray for us all, because her ass is crazy. Her <laughs> ass is beyond crazy. She don't give up about nobody but herself. <laughs> nobody but her motherfucking self. She wasn't trying to pay Johnice. Yo, that shit Nigga, Johnice is taking time off of work. She shuffling kids around, pulling up with kids, with strollers with kids to try to support you with your dreams. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to pay motherfuckers. Then get mad when she try to put it on her own platform to get paid. Man, stop it. I don't know, man. I'm going to let you get off this shit, man. I love y'all, man. Continue to support, man. You know, all positivity. That's that's what it's about. You know, try to try to really work on my mom's heart, bro, because I want her to be a better person. That's why I stuck with her so long, because I keep hoping that it's a better person in there somewhere. After all the raggedy, fucked up shit she do, I'm thinking, like, man, she just need love. You know what I'm saying? Like, she probably had a fucked up, rough life, and I tried to be the nigga to love her, and this how she she, 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 she caught her legs open, sat me down, and took a shit right in my face, bro. Oh, shit. Man. After all the shit I did them. for her, I went to bat with motherfuckers that I cared about. That shit happened with Rock. I was low-key cool with Rock before that, you feel me? And the only reason I didn't fuck with Rock after that is because I feel like out of respect for me, you shouldn't have beat my mama up. Like, out of enough respect for, like, even though your mama tripping, bro, I, I, I care about your son. We talk. He, he helped me start my music. He been oh. fucking with me. You know what I'm I'm going to leave him alone. I know you crazy. She didn't career. know she was crazy because yeah, they've been dealing with each other for a whole year, you know? But other than that, he my mom... keeps saying that um, Fashawn was his artist first. Ooh. I don't know. I was wrong, bro. How you throw bottles at her? And I always I didn't say that because of my mom and I'm trying to take her side. But she was wrong overall. That's my mom. I'm still going to slide for her regardless. That's my mom. You know what I'm saying? But she was overall wrong and I told her that, bro. You were wrong for playing with a grown-ass adult like that. Throwing bottles at people? Like... I would have beat your ass too, nigga. What the fuck? Word. <laughs> you know what I mean? mm-hmm. I'm gonna get off this shit, bro. This shit okay, friend. But yeah, go y'all go talk to her. Pray for her, please, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause she really needs a real life epiphany mm-hmm. and go into her life. Cause the mm-hmm. shit she tried to do with me is really it's 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 demonic. Mm-hmm. It's really demonic. It's it's I have no soul. I have no conscience. Uh, boy, mm-hmm. yeah, let me tell you, so I don't know who wife out there, boy. Boy, it ain't mine. So I'm just saying. Oh, your <laughs> only child. I'm her firstborn child. I've been in her life more, more than anybody. Probably longer than her daddy. Literally, I've been in her life probably longer than her daddy. And that's how you do me, nigga. I done fought crackheads for you, nigga. Oh, at boy. 15. Ooh. I done fought crackheads for you at 15, bro. I fought for both our lives, bro. This nigga kicked me in my face. <laughs> Real life. This nigga, I'm, talking about, I'm not talking about no play scuffling, nigga. Me and this nigga squabble. I'm hitting this nigga with poles. Nigga, this, yeah. my mom had to try to run this nigga over with the car. Like, Damn. And she went back and did this shit again. Yeah. And me and this nigga fighting because she won't stop fucking her side nigga and this nigga talking to my oh. mom crazy. Oh, yeah. What I'm supposed to do? You And again, she wrong again. Yeah. You wrong again. Yeah. Uh-huh. You can't fucking keep your pants up. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And it's your whole husband. Mm-hmm. Damn. So was the husband a crackhead? It's giving crackhead ism. Okay. <laughs> Everywhere. Just it, it, all I saw was crack. <laughs> It's giving crackhead ism. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand. But yeah, you know, y'all, y'all go talk to her. She needed epiphany, bro. Oh, if you can't help your mama out, oh, fuck, you yeah, think we're going to That's just crazy as hell. Friend was trying to get off the phone for about four times. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, friend. I'm going to go get off this uh-huh. phone, though, but still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I'm trying to say is y'all y'all gotta talk to her. Mm-hmm. I, I don't even know her. And pray for her again. Okay, but I'm, I'm gonna go get, get off there. this phone. <laughs> but still, what you gotta listen, Friend. nigga. Oh shit, I don't wanna pray for her no more. Okay. <laughs> I didn't pray three times. <laughs>
Listen. Wasting all my my prayers. Okay. That <laughs> demon. Okay. Look, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below, child. We are done with this video. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Shabam.